everyone, I'm Carissa Beal, and today we're going to be hitching with Senator Mark Green. Hello, Senator Green. Hey, how are you? It's great. Nice to meet my you. My pleasure Mark. to have you tracking my ride yeah. today. And I would like to just start by saying that this interview today will be nothing like your interview with Saddam Hussein. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> that is amazing. You're a veteran. Yeah. You're a doctor, a public servant. So what is the driving force that's propelled you to where you are today? I feel like God gives each of us um, certain gifts and abilities and talents and that we're supposed to use them for his purposes. Well, we've had Representative Mike Sparks. And uh, Hitch, Mike's a great guy. And Hitch CEO Mark Cleveland. Yeah, Mark's a great guy. Weigh in on this Tennessee's HOV lane situation. What do you think about the HOV lane? Do I, you believe they're being utilized correctly, abused? Do you think that they could help? Okay, yeah, they're they're probably being used, uh, abused uh, some, you know, a clearly if you look at, huh? A little above. Yeah, a little used bit above. Used and abused. Yeah, used and abused, and, and they do have a purpose, um, you know, if we can decompress the roads a little bit through the use of HOV lanes, I think that's a good thing. If you look at some of the other states that, that have been very successful with appropriately managing their HOV lanes, they have decompressed right. the flow, they have... Um, facilitated some of the mass transits use of the highway so busing systems if you get the HOV lanes working properly you can get busing systems to use them so that their timing of their routes is is more predictable and when that happens then that further decompresses the roads very clearly well managed HOV lanes do decompress the highways and they it encourages things like hitch you know? right so what are your thoughts on the future of the auto industry in conjunction with the role of autonomous vehicles. Yeah, AV technology is obviously sort of revolutionizing uh, the automotive industry and it's it's revolutionizing transit. When you think, I mean, at some point people may not ever own their car, mm -hmm. but they'll always be the car enthusiasts like myself. I am I love, one as well. I love cars. I do too. Uh, I think 20 years from now there may be adults who don't know how to drive who maybe at one time would have um, when you can Those just hop in a vehicle. Stores. Remember that time that we had to drive yeah, I mean, it, this mini bus? <laughs> I, I think it's really going to revolutionize. I mean, you think not only in just passenger vehicles, but trans, transportation of, of goods. Wild. And, yeah. That, so you think of the trucking industry and what's going to happen there. Um, it's it's going to be a big change. That's why one of the things that I've done in the Tennessee State Senate is I helped redefine for Tennessee what autonomous technology was, and it was a big step for our state. We leapt to the forefront with that uh, change in the definition of autonomous technology, um, and now we're one of the top states for research and development for autonomous technology. Well, I always thought it was fun to carpool, and I used to love playing games in the car back when we would all take family trips and when I'd be with friends and stuff. I don't know if you ever did that, sure. but if you don't mind to make our ride a little bit more interesting today, there's a game that you okay. have probably, you're probably well aware of this game at this point. Have you been introduced to Bean Boozled? No, I never have played. You never played? Well, today's the perfect day to start. I'll okay. teach you a little something then. Okay. Let's play Bean Boozled. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So this is your spinner. Okay. All right. And you're going to spin that. And we have our beans setting down here, folks. So you're going to go ahead and spin that for me and tell me uh, what our choice of bean is. Let's just okay. practice. So it looks like buttered popcorn or rotten egg. All right. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to ask you some questions. If you get the question correct, I eat the bean. If okay. you get it wrong, you eat the bean. Okay. Not a big deal. It's All just right. a fun little trivia something. Ready for this? No, I'm ready. All right. Number one. Which company is the largest operator of autonomous vehicles in the world? A. Google. B. Tesla. John Deere or NASA? Uh, Tesla. Uh, I have the answer being John Deere. Uh, okay. Impressively enough. Take you one of those. And it's since you potentially got it, rotten egg, oh, is that what you're... There's a spit cup here. <laughs> oh my god. And a Mark water Cleveland on the door. Okay. okay yeah. And paper towels. Okay, so here goes. 
buttered popcorn. Oh, starting off strong and lucky. Go for okay. it, spinner Spin number two. All right. mm -hmm. Uh, chocolate pudding or canned dog food? Fantastic! Chocolate pudding or canned dog food. The question is, where would you find the sea of tranquility? Is it Neptune, the moon, or Thailand? Uh, probably both. I don't, Neptune? Er, it's the moon. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, here's this That's one. A, okay. Chocolate right. or canned dog food right there Ooh. for you. Just happily awaiting to be tested by I you. I wouldn't know what canned dog food tastes like, though. Dried, but not canned. Yeah, that's probably dog food. It's not tasting like average chocolate. It's not chocolate pudding. <laughs> Whatever it is. You do know what chocolate pudding tastes like. <laughs> Having fun yet? I am. <laughs> Tutti Fruity or Stinky Sock. Oh, Tutti Fruity is really great. The Stinky Sock is as bad as it sounds. Okay. Based on 2015 Forbes article, workplace stress is responsible for roughly how much in annual U.S. healthcare cost? Is it 120 billion, 200 billion, or 190 billion? 190 billion. Oh no! Come on. That means you're right. Ah, okay, good. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Bean boozled. This is actually a game. Yes. <laughs> Tutti fruity. All right. Good yes. What is the maximum range on an M4 qualification course in the Army? Oh. 250 meters, 800 meters, 400 meters, or 1200 meters? 400 meters. Good. That's Was that a right. good guess? Yeah, that's right. Nailed so, it. Is see that communication. Or, or moldy, moldy cheese. cheese. Yeah. yeah, I'm probably lying to you then. I'm that's sorry. Okay. Yeah, buttered popcorn. And you got buttered popcorn again? Well, no, I think I got the other. <laughs> that doesn't taste the same. Mm -mm. Oh, man. By 2035. There will be how many vehicles on the road with some level of self-driving technology? 76 million, 54 million, or 80 million? 76 million. Got it! So. All right, I have to try this again. I don't know if I'm gonna be as lucky this time. That's the problem. So. Boy, that last one had an aftertaste. <laughs> yeah, I need to bring a mouthwash. Yeah, they're nasty. I can already tell this one's not the same. No, did you get dirty socks? Something's not right in my mouth. <laughs> it's not right. <laughs> Thanks again. Yeah, I, guess, sure. I guess I'll take the bean boozled, but I had a blast today. Yeah, um, good to meet you. Hitching a ride with you. And thank you for sharing your story, or at least some of it. I know there's more. Absolutely. And everybody should check out all the links that are, you know, in y'all's web page and all of that stuff and uh, follow up with you guys. Uh, it's, Hitch is a great concept, a great company. And we need to fight traffic. Let's let's uh, decompress our roads. Thank so, you. Yeah. Thank you very Good much. To meet you. Have Start a great hitching day. a ride today, See everybody. You, guys. you have a great day. Yeah, you too. <laughs>